After it's cooked, this is all burned away. It's gone. There's a hole existing in a ceramic cartridge. So what do they do? They melt the bronze and they pour it in. See with those two break eyes off the ceramic. Have to do and there you have it. With one this form merging into in another. Bronze. And there's a lot of difference, say in color, in dark and light and so forth. This How do we start the, this? The oh yeah. Right? This I lead in. Okay. William King. East Hampton, global sculptor. Connie Fox, painter. So I'm making these things. Look, I taught at Berkeley one year, 1960, and I got a pretty heavy razzing for my imagery, so I tried to make some abstract sculpture. <laughs> yeah. It was pathetic. So right there, the die was thrown away or something like that. I'm stuck with this imagery. I don't care anymore. I know I'm good. I'm really good. And people say, look, you've got your place in history. Just shut up and get to work. I don't have a gallery. We're three steps away from food stamps. Connie doesn't have a nickel. I say shit on the goddamn thing, and uh, there we have it, OK? Wrap it up. Is that enough? Get him. I met Bill in Berkeley when you were what what year was that 65 when you had that show in the Berkeley gallery mm -hmm. 65 1965 yeah. picnic at the Jonas Salk Institute and actually we in 1950 we were we were in Rome at the same time when the <laughs> Pope <laughs> declared <laughs> that the Virgin Mary was carried bodily into heaven. We were in St. Peter's Square with yeah, about 500,000 At exactly people. the same moment. And had no inkling. Of each other being there. No. As we, you know, go back and talk about earlier days, we've had very definite uh, confluences that were interesting. In 1941, we were both lying under the piano when at Pearl Harbor occurred. We found that out. We were both at home as teenagers lying under the piano reading the funnies. Fowler, Colorado, Coconut Grove, Florida. Why? Why? Go faster. can see where we are. We're in the middle of this. Pull back. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, stop. And then just pull back out till the whole thing's in there. How are you, baby? Oh, you look all right. 
for you to say. Look better than we do in real life. <laughs> uh, Stuart, you know, you, uh, did you ever, did any of your husbands balk at the idea of you being an artist, full-time painter? Well, she kept it going, you know, marriages, kids. She said, no, they don't seem to mind till you start to have a career. Well, what are you going to do? Yeah, she's a pistol. Well, she did what she wanted, right? You're a killer. Children. I don't get it. But boy, oh boy. She's done history a big service. You better bring it up. Mother of God, I've seen that one before. Not in this state. Jesus, that's, that's shiny paint. I know. Aluminum it, paint. I know. It's uh, I have. Gone. <laughs> <laughs> Deep space. Into the heart good of the flower. Good God Almighty. And this is uh. That's pretty good. How the hell do you get away with it? Aluminum paint, and that's British steel. Let me get out of the way. British steel? Where's British steel? Here. Oh, okay. Kind of a dark, luscious color. Great storm. God almighty. Now, I wanted to put this one up so we could test the different colors of red. Once about every three years, I do a red painting. And I'm not sure why. Maybe it's because it's middle of the winter and I need to have a little warmth in the studio. Here's one that... Is that coming out red? Well... On the color bars. Here's one I did last year, huh. I guess. About this time. Look at that. What the hell are you trying to say? <laughs> That's a ridiculous question, isn't it? Usually, when I make a red painting, it fails. This one turned out pretty well. another one. Yeah, we just had an opening of Bill's. We didn't really know each other. But I, I you know, I, I saw his work, saw him. <laughs> I just barely met him. I didn't know him until, until I, I moved here. We were uh, 
playing in Audrey Flack's Blue, Bluegrass Band. That's really where we met each other. Ready? Uh, you both play instruments? You ready for us? We were both playing violin. Bill sang. We, we played a lot. I mean, we, <laughs> we played we, gigs. We played gigs, yeah. We played a lot. Yeah. Of, yeah. We even played at Guild Hall once, didn't we? Yeah. And we played in the, we played in New York. We played at the Still Window. Yeah, Art. My old hands, hands, a good old hand. She legs eggs for the railroad man. I think it was sometimes a, one, sometimes two. Well, still two, windy, yeah. Sometimes enough yeah. for the but whole damn crew. But some place else at School Arby's. of Visual Arts, SVA. Yeah, set up for us. We were called the Art Attacks. That was Audrey's name, and we could never butcher away First from cackled, to change it to a better Next name. She cackled, she cackled in the pot. First time she cackled, she cackled on the lot. Next time she cackled, she cackled in the pot. And since you don't do the same thing as Connie does, what can you walk us through a little bit of, imagine looking at a painting and tell us something about it. No, it doesn't work that way. <laughs> Thank God. Sorry, Max. <laughs> It's very simple, it's algebra. Algebra is equation, <laughs> E equals MC squared. Each one of us thinks the other one is a really good artist, you know? And each one thinks the other one is insane. <laughs> and we get along somehow. But the work, oh God. I don't know. I see some things of her that really rock me. And every once in a while, she'll say something about something I made that makes me think, good God, she really knows what I'm trying to do. Or actually do, not just try. Art's not trying. It's not trying, is it? No, you know, that's very interesting. You know, you're saying that. I hadn't really thought about it, but it really takes a long time to understand somebody's work. Long time. A long time. And we've had that opportunity. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> uh, <laughs> but we don't talk to each other about <laughs> details about the work. I mean, it, that, it, it, you say it doesn't work that way, you know. We don't say, well, what do you think? I wish you'd be doing now, or what do you, you know. It's that, it, I think it's very un, important that being artists, we understand the work patterns of being an artist. So it's totally us, usual for us to work on Sunday and not, you know, think that this, the weekend is a, a different kind of day than Tuesday or so there's a kind of mutual understanding with this art thing why not somebody's got to do it is that what they say it's, but it's more of a it's more of a Necessity. Just luck. My mother said there's a lot of talent around. She says there's a Shakespeare under every bush as far as talent, but who gets a chance? Love me tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Certainly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs>